I think it's just a combination of, uh, of C.S. Lewis's amazing magical imagination, you know, to come up with these kind of fat, invisible, one-footed duffel puds and, uh, 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 and you know, and, and, and sort of merfolk and serpents and boys who turn into dragons, along with the kind of really very heartwarming story about, about children and, and teenagers growing into the adults that they're going to become and, and learning along, uh, sort of learning through this mythical land who, who, who they're going to be, be in, in, in later life. And I think that both of those things that go along together means those stories have endured. And, um, and you know, Michael Abt has done a great job with, with transferring what is a very episodic, difficult book into a really exciting, fun film. We filmed much more in, in a studio, so it was, you know, you'd walk in and pull back these massive hangar doors and someone would have built an island inside with these magical pools which turned things to gold and, and, and it was just, you know, treasure troves and all, all sorts of amazing things which were worked, worked on. So it was a, a lot more, last time we were hopping from continent to continent to get the forests and this and that and the other. And, um, the, the, you know, this time it was all um, much more condensed. Um, but, you know, we only had to drive an hour down the road to a completely beautiful deserted beach and ocean and everything. So, um, yeah, I, I, you know, it, it, was, it, was fan, it, was fan, it was fantastic and it was all in the warm sunshine.